Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a USB pass-through and, and to configure it for the GP2040C platform. Here I have a treasure box controller that, uh, that I made and I have the USB pass-through installed here. You see that it's actually flashing and excuse the wiring. Uh, I just was trying to make sure it worked. I probably will clean it up a little bit later. But uh, you see here that I actually do have it working for my controller. And when I try to go ahead and uh, move the buttons, everything works. And one important caveat is that you have to make sure that you set up the shortcuts where when you plug the controller in, that it, it'll switch to a certain mode. But with this video, it's specifically to show how to uh, configure it up and wire it up. So first thing that you need is you need a USB uh, pass-through, and, and it's not the actual dongle itself. I have a, a, a Brook a Wingman FGC, but the actual dongle is, is going to be th this part in green here. So you see that this dongle has four um, screw terminals and four wires. I'm going to link this in the description box, but for those that are adventurous, you can actually take an existing USB cable and just strip the wires and do the same thing and you see that there I have four different um, cables here or wires so from left to right it's going to be a ground wire it's going to be a D1 D minus and V bus so I'll explain those so the ground wire is going to be the actual ground and the Pico board I'm using has a number of different grounds here so I just hooked it up to one of the grounds our D plus and D minus have to be adjacent pins so you have to find two pins on your board and you have to hook those up to those adjacent pins and what i mean adjacent it means that it has to be 14 or 15 or if it's nine the next pin has to be 10. whenever it, it's looking for it has to be adjacent pins uh and the last one is v bus so the v bus gives it a um i think it's a, either a a 3.3 volt connection or a three volt connection and and that pin is going to be on the board itself maybe it's hard to see but the first pin is going to say v bus on it that's the pin that you need to actually connect it in so again the first pin is a ground wire d plus and d minus are they have to be adjacent pins and the v bus is the first pin on the opposite side of your directional inputs what I typically do is I turn off turbo mode. I don't particularly like turbo. It can create issues where I, I leave it on accidentally and, and it can mess up something, especially in a competitive setting. So what I do to make this easy is that I turn off turbo mode and I'll show you how to do that in the second part of the video. And then what I do is I connect the our, our, our ground wire first. So the ground wire is gonna be the our third to last pin. And then I make it to where from a connection standpoint d plus is going to be pin 14 and d minus is going to be pin 15. so this is how i have have it set up here and you'll notice that it's configured the same way on this as well so let's go ahead and get to the second part which is going to be the web configuration mode so this is the second part of the video in this part we're going to go to the gp 2040c web configurator you do that by holding down the S1 or start button on your controller while plugging it into a computer. You'll hear the USB chime and then from there you'll be able to see by going to Steam and going to your controller settings that no controllers are detected. Then from there you're going to go to your web browser and then type in 192.168.7.1 and then press enter. And then from there, you're going to see a screen that says, Welcome to the GP2040C Web Configurator. From here, we're going to have to change a few settings. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Configuration menu, and then we're going to go to Peripheral Mapping. Then from there, we're going to go to USB Host at the bottom, and you're going to see it says USB 0. We're going to enable that. And then from here, we're going to reference back to what I was saying in the first part of the video. So I set my D plus pin as 14 and I mentioned that there have to be two adjacent pins so the D minus will automatically be set as 
15 or pin 15 you'll see here that in the drop down menu all of the pins that are, are not being used will show up here but you see that that 14 and 15 are, are adjacent to each other and 15 is not used so again you want to make sure that however you have have your pins set up that they actually match this USB host setting and they have to be adjacent to each other also too we're gonna set enable 5 volt as unset and then by default we have it to where 14 is right next to 15 so we have it to where our it's the pin order is D plus 4 slash and then it's gonna be a D minus so I'll just make sure that it, it matches to what I'm showing here and then hit save and then we're gonna do a few more things so I'm gonna to go to my add-on configuration and I'm gonna make sure my turbo mode is is disabled because again I'm not enabling turbo and typically turbo is 14 and 15 when it's initially set up from there we're gonna hit save and then after that we're gonna to go to our pin mapping and we're, we're gonna confirm that pin 14 and 15 are assigned to add-on so you see here it says 14 and 15 are assigned to add-on and then from there hit save and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to check our our boot and input shortcuts so how you do that is you go into your settings you see it says boot input modes so here you would hold down a button the same way when you hold down start and you go into the web configurator mode when you hold on a particular button you will switch to the, the modes that are shown here now all these are drop down menus and you can set these however you want but this is how I have mine set up and just for reference uh, it's a little ambiguous but as far as B1, B2, B3 and B4 so on B1 it's the X button or a one kick button B2 is going to be our Two kick button or the circle button b3 is going to be the square button or the one punch button and b4 is going to be our two punch button or triangle and of course i set my uh ps5 and my xbox one as l1 and l2 respectively so you can set these however you want to and just and just an fyi uh some people have had this issue before where the controller will go into keyboard mode by holding down R2 that can be easily solved by just setting it to where there is no input mode for, for keyboard mode because that because that, that can happen sometimes and it's very confusing so I would just just go into this and unselect the keyboard mode so that way it's not possible for it to even happen so from here uh, we're gonna go in and, and reboot the the, uh, the controller and I want to show you something real quick. So a way of knowing that the controller is in Xbox mode is, I'm, is I did a reboot into controller. And Xbox mode shows up as a PDP Xbox One Phantom Black controller. So that's how you know it's in Xbox mode. So the last part I'm going to go over is the, the actual dongles I've tested and used. And I can confirm. So the Brook Wingman FGC does work with this. It works as a pass through where you plug it directly into the controller uh, through the pass through or if you plug it in, into the console itself. It works either way. The way of knowing it works is that it's going to have a, a red USB flash. And if you have a um, if you have a, a screen L LCD screen or LED screen, uh, it will actually show up on there as well. The screen will show you the input modes. So the way to confirm that it works for PlayStation is you'll see it change from PS4 mode to PS4 and then it'll be a colon and it'll be AS or same thing with PS5. Once you plug it into the console, after a few minutes, it's going to switch from PS5 to PS5 colon AS. AS means that authentication is successful and then it won't have the eight minute timeout anymore. So, so that's how you know it works. Uh, I've also tested a magic boots. It's either P4 or PS4. I've tested that as well and it does work That's gonna probably be your cheapest option But you will need the USB dongle for this because it doesn't have a male and female Part to it. So you will actually need that I haven't confirmed 
if you can buy one to use it yet i'll probably do that later on but in, in order to get it to work you will need the uh the usb pass through that i mentioned in the first part of the video one more thing i want to mention uh there is a pxn n5 it's a a dongle for like a racing wheel uh it's kind of hard to find those in the us but for people that, that have those you can actually buy one of those as well i've been told that, that that works i have not had a chance to actually test that yet but when i do i'll make a video about that another solution is to use a officially licensed ps4 fighting stick the one shown is one i tested it's a mad cats fight stick alpha i was able to plug it directly into the usb pass through and it worked the only problem is that since the usb cable is a full length cable it didn't fit into my treasure box correctly so i had to buy a usb ribbon cable and it's kind of expensive but if you already have one around or if you don't mind carrying around an extra co controller or fight stick this may be a good option it does not work with the uh dualshock 4 nor does it work for the ps5 it has to be an officially licensed ps4 controller so Brands like Mad Cats, Hori, those will probably be your best bets. Now for Xbox, I did mention that the Mayflash Magic X does work for that. But honestly, I haven't had a chance to test anything else. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be making some more content specifically for GP2040 CE. The next one will be about how to install and configure the LED screen. I showed it briefly earlier in my video, but I want to go over in depth how to set it up and why it's useful to help with changing modes, but also with the authentication for Xbox and PlayStation 4 as well as PS5. You have a blessed day and you take care. Thank you.